everyone, and welcome to another episode of 1923 Main Street. Home of the Disney Travel Podcast with the latest Disney Travel news. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bella Braddock. And I'm Amelia Bella Braddock. And today, Walt Disney World Railroad is back with an all-new voiceover, Chef Mickey's transitions back to buffet style, and what's ahead for 2023. Yes, and Happy New Year. It's New Year's week, so it's either pre-New Year's or post, depending on when you're listening to this show. So we hope you're having a good week. Yeah, we will be looking ahead to the top 10 new rides and attractions coming to Walt Disney World and Disneyland in 2023, the ones we know for sure. But before that, a couple interesting stories. Yes, the Walt Disney World Railroad is finally back after many, many years. Well. And there is, well, listen, this was an opening day attraction, 1971. They got a whole new track. Of course, they had to move it under Tron. There's a little tunnel. But there's a bit of a new uh, addition to it that you may or may not like. So they are now adding a people mover-esque voiceover to the Walt Disney World Railroad. It'll narrate you as you travel through, give you some behind the scenes facts and a little bit of history on some of the attractions. Yeah, so Disney's official release put it this way, a voice our guests can envision and resonate with. Someone who grew up on Main Street USA dreaming of the day they'd be on the railroad. They've now achieved that dream, and they know everyone and everything at Magic Kingdom, an unofficial mayor of sorts. Now, for me, the jury's out on this because, as Amelia just noted, especially when it goes under Tron, it's like People Mover, and I don't think I like the People Mover vibe on the Walt Disney World Railroad. What do you think? Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. It just feels a little bit out of place. It feels like a little bit more futury yeah, than you know, I want the railroad to love feel. Love it on People Mover. Sense. It's great. We're used to it there. It's part of the ambiance of People Mover. But again, you don't have to start making everything the same. So just because it goes under a little tunnel area, we don't need a People Mover voice. So I don't know. I'm curious what people think. Do you like it? Do you not? I'm sure we'll get used to it. But well, we'll have to see what the narration sounds yeah. like in full as well. Uh, off the it. top of my head, I'm, I don't love that. But it's not going to make me not want to ride the railroad. That's for sure. So anyway, it's good to have the railroad back. We were there just last week and hearing that whistle once again was awesome. Seeing the steam puff out of the uh, the engine and hearing the whistle felt like, ah, finally things are getting right again. Now, things getting right again, Chef Mickey's is moving back to buffet. Yeah, and, and then you might think if you have... A March break coming up in March 2023. Chef Mickey's will be back to its original buffet style from then on. Uh, it was style previously, and now it's getting back to normal. All of the characters and the regular buffet that we once knew. Yeah, so March 1st, 2023, the buffet is back again. Um, I guess, I don't know. You're just we, not a buffet person. Well, we did have, I mean, club level at the Grand Floridian essentially is a buffet, it right? Is a buffet. So. I'm not a fan of buffets, wasn't a huge fan of them even before COVID, so we'll see. Again, I guess it's not going to stop me from going. I didn't mind table service. I know some people didn't love it. But anyway, they're moving back to what most people, I believe, wanted, which was the buffet back. And that will be happening, as we said, March 1st. See, I like the buffet as long as I forget about all of the kids that are grabbing without washing their hands. Yeah, so my buffet tip <laughs> personally is to take from the rear. <laughs> so whenever there's, you know, a line of things, I don't grab the front one. I go to the back and grab because I... Because we saw short it, children won't reach We to saw the back. it last week. Kids will grab with their hands the front one and then put it back down and that sort of thing. Very rarely or anybody grabbing the very last one at the back. And putting it back anyway. So that's what I do just for a little little extra maybe effort <laughs> where the buffet is concerned. But anyway, that's coming back. I know it was popular for with a lot of people wanting it back. And now let's jump into our end of the year episode. 2023 is here or on the horizon, depending when you're listening. And we have 10 exciting new things coming that we know of. And we're pretty sure there's going to be more. And there's five each. At each park uh, from Disneyland and Disney World. So starting off with Disneyland, the Wondrous Journeys and World of Color one. This is coming back on January 27th, 2023. And there are two new shows to celebrate Disney 100. Yeah, so Wondrous Journeys at Disneyland Park. 
remember they premiered the song at D23 and we were thinking. It was a little bit less than we had anticipated, but I think it was just the version that they chose yeah. to premiere. For was me, very it doesn't mellow. have the same catchiness as the other ones. But anyway. It doesn't hit. Why would we'll you choose to do like a, show is. like a mellow jazz song? It doesn't really. I, I don't think that's the version that's in the show, though. Yeah, so that's so, January 27th. And then across the way we'll over see. at California Adventure is World of Color 1. So a variation on the water show, both in celebration of Disney 100. Yes. And Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Wheel, right, is coming also on January 27th. This is a pretty fun attraction over yeah, at World. Yeah, we love it at World. So we're excited to see it in the land as well. Uh, keeping on theme with Mickey, Mickey's Toontown will be opening March 8th, 2023. Yeah, so Runaway Railway is sort of on the edge of Toontown, so they're opening that first. If you haven't ridden it at all at Walt Disney World, it's really good. We love Definitely it. Definitely give it a shot. Yeah, it's super good. And the, what they achieve without 3D glasses is really amazing. I actually love it. Every time I ride it, I go, I actually like this better than I thought. It's a similar car to Rise of Resistance and Ratatouille. Yeah, and I would exact same vehicle. Personally say it's far better than either of those. Yeah, and I agree. it doesn't even require glasses. Yeah, I agree. I prefer that sort of car the best in Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And then Toontown, as Amelia said, March 8th. Again, March break for us, spring break generally. The whole Toontown will be coming back. It's a classic, so we're excited to have it. Yeah, we don't have it at Disney World anymore, so we're glad it's back and new. And we've covered the details. So that's number three. Number four coming back. No date, but we know it's next year. The Adventureland Treehouse in the Swiss Family Robinson Tree sometime in 2023. We're excited to have Yeah, they've got the Swiss Family Robinson theme back. They have a new series coming on Disney+, Plus, so that's why they're re-theming from Tarzan to Swiss Family Robinson, which I like. I loved that movie as a kid. Yeah. I feel like watching it again now, maybe. And I guess we'll be watching the series. <laughs> oh, definitely check out the series. We'll see how good it is. Yes. And then finally... The Magic Happens Parade will return on February 24th, 2023 in Disneyland. Yeah, a lot of people have been missing that. It went away for a while, so it's finally coming back in February. There are five new rides and attractions coming your way in Disneyland in 2023. Now, hopping across to Walt Disney World, we have five more things yes. coming our way. Less specifics over here because Disney World likes to keep their options open, but we know for sure all of these things are coming That's sometime. interesting. You're right. There's in not an actual date for any of them. <laughs> we know these are coming sometime in 2023. So first we have Journey of Water, which is Moana's walkthrough attraction at Epcot. And this is supposed to be coming sometime late 2020. 23. Yeah, and we were, you know, just there and still I those construction walls are so annoying. You it really have to go way out of your way around them because they're right in the center of it what does, used to be um Future World. It does kind of cut yeah. off the walkways. I it cuts admit. off the walkways. You can sort of start to see some of what's going on behind there, but they're saying late 2023. So my goodness, this is gonna be a whole Several more trips for us with those walls up. I want to know what they're doing in there. Why is it taking so long? Yeah, I know. It's, like it's it a is walk a walkthrough. Yeah, so well, I guess we'll have to see. Well, I hope it lives up to the time that it's taking to be built. It's a big area. It's you know, where the fountain was and all that stuff. It so. could be really, really cool. And if it's taking this amount of time, I just hope it will be. So I guess we'll have to see. Now, the next one that. I'm hoping should be a lot easier to implement. Yes, the Hatbox Ghost is returning at the Haunted Mansion sometime in 2023. Yeah, and they did have him in there a few years ago for a short spell. He's right at the bottom of, well, assuming he goes to the same spot, when your car goes backwards in the Magic Kingdom Haunted Mansion, and you're just about to enter into the Grim Grinning Ghost graveyard scene at the very end, right now there's a guy with a lamp and a dog, and that's where the Hatbox ghost will be if yes. it is in the same spot he used to be in yeah, we're very excited he's returning he's i love him yeah i can't wait a classic great photo op and we miss him it's very really weird much. why they took him away in the first place yeah maybe they were reimagining him because he's he's sort of like a figment character that many people know and love so yeah all's well that ends well maybe he will be back and this is not for a limited time maybe they're making him a disney 100 hatbox ghost and of course, the big news for the year it shows up. is next on the list. <laughs> yes, they have given us a season for this one. At the very least, Tron Light Cycle Run will be coming spring 2023. We're hoping this means March break because we're so excited to ride this. But spring 2023, which means sometime before June 21st. Yeah, and it's funny watching it, you know, this week, 
the vehicles are just racing around there and it looks so cool and it really does look like it's very close to completion to me i mean the fact that they opened the railroad again shows that the that part is good the entrance is really coming along it's scaring me because i don't based on like the cars in the actual movie if you were to ride them you just fall right off in the ride so yeah. i'm excited to see how it works because it looks it really looks fun and yeah some people were saying oh why is it taking so long well i'm pretty sure they they delayed it or slowed it down on purpose because they're not going to have two e-tickets launch this year they they had guardians of the galaxy cosmic rewind launch of course not so they want to sort of save this till next year for disney 100 which makes sense to i mean me. it will be smart to do both of them in the sense that you'd like split the crowds but then again you're using two of your aces at once yeah so and i then, understand why they did it i just hope it's open for yeah for march <laughs> march break but then again maybe they want to wait until the 50th is over and then pull this out for the 100th well i guess so. technically spring is until march 21st which we would miss because our week is right before that. The but, literally the week before that. Yeah. But hopefully sometime in the summer we will get to ride it and I think I think it's going to be pretty good. I think it's definitely going to be up there with some of my top rides ever at Disney World. So, I There's a chance it could be for us because I'm they do soft launch sometimes. So, we may be super lucky. We'll see. Yeah. Nothing I mean, we can do about it. It's better that they stay spring 2023 and then it's like late late winter than they say spring and it turns out to be summer. Exactly. So I guess we'll just have to see. Coming next, speaking of the Figment type characters, Figment meet and greet at Epcot is coming sometime in 2023. Yeah, TBA 2023. Again, That's I'm not like the crazy Figment fan. I don't mind Journey into Imagination. I like the character, but some people go bananas. No, we did not line up for his popcorn bucket. But I don't think you'd line up for a popcorn bucket, even if I it was your favorite character just, of all I, time. I don't get it. I've said it before. With all due respect to everyone who does it, I'm just, I don't line up for tchotchke stuff like that. But anyway, I will line up to meet Figman if it's not too long or we have a fast pass. <laughs> Keyword, something. if it's not too long. We'll check it out. It's, you know, it's nice to have another character there, a new character yeah, I there. I think Figman's so. classic. We like to ride the Figment ride before going into the DVC lounge. I think Figman's a sweet one and I'd line up to meet him if his then, meet comes. Yeah. And then, of course, the last but not least. Finally. <laughs> I know Amelia has been waiting for this one. So they haven't given a date for this, but happily ever after, the new version will return sometime in 2023. I'm assuming April 1st. That's what I was going to say. Just that would based be. on the fact yeah. that 50th ends, so therefore Enchantment would end. No hate to Enchantment, but finally, happily ever after, it's coming back. I don't care how they reboot it as long as the song Happily Ever After is involved somehow. And because they sang it at the expo, I'm assuming it will be. And of course, you know it's going to be April 1st because we will have just left. Yeah. <laughs> so, But that <laughs> but would make sense. They are doing 50th until the end of March. So it would make perfect sense that... Don't worry, I'll be watching all the live streams. <laughs> Happily Ever After, the reboot, as we're calling it, because all they said is a, a sort of new version or update or something. I forget the exact wording they use, but it's not just an exact copy of what they had. Maybe that means well, they're Well, they probably using... want to like add Encanto, yeah, yeah, Ozone 2, and all this. That's fine. Because one of the things I add didn't it. love about Happily Ever After is it was obviously modular. So now we're going to see how that actually plays out. Okay, you know what? Happily Ever After, it was fantastic. It told a story. It was, you might not understand it, but I noticed it. Oh, nice so, dig. <laughs> nice New Year's dig. <laughs> it might. It told a cohesive story. You just have to look beyond the reach. It tells you how to find your own Happily Ever After. No story will surpass Wishes. It evolved from Wishes. I don't need the fancy projections no, and all that No, don't you see? Stuff. Wishes was like the beginning, telling you how to make your wish, and Happily Ever After was telling you how to make it come true. Wishes what didn't need the crutch of technology to make it heartfelt. Wishes is like the opening act, and Happily oh. Ever After is like the finale. <laughs> no. It's like an act one and two. You I need them both. I don't mind it. It's all right. We'll see how it is. We'll see it's how, great. but it's not as good as Wishes. You know what? Wishes was fantastic, but Happily Ever After is also phenomenal. So I'm excited it's coming back. Enchantment was good. Yeah, it was it okay. Was... It was a bit much for me, but Enchantment okay. was great for a limited time. It's one of those <laughs> ones, Enchantment, I'm not going to get emotionally attached to, so I'm not sad at all that it's gone. I guess I like Happily Ever After better than Enchantment. <laughs> I would say that. I win. Yeah. Yeah. All right, everyone. Yeah. See, I liked Enchantment. It was great for 18 months. And now Happily Ever After is yeah. coming back. It had a longer run than Bob JPEG. So there you go. 
All right, everyone. Happy New Year to you all. We hope you had a happy, safe holidays. Looking forward to an amazing 2023. These are 10 things to look forward to. And of course, we will report and comment on everything new that comes along, because I'm pretty sure there will be, as we discussed in a recent episode. So thanks for listening. Follow along on social media at 1923 Main Street. And as always, have a magical day. Bye-bye.